<laughs> um, well, we've had great speakers today. I don't know if my speech uh, could match up to our previous speakers, but um, I will say that I've been a bit dishonest with you guys today. I, I've never been on a stage before. I'm utterly terrified right now. Um, but I think I faked it pretty well. And I think, <laughs> and I think that's something I learned in my time in the fashion industry. We've learned, I've learned to fake it. That's what we do in the industry I work in, is fake it. Um, I work as a casting director and in production. I work in the image making part of fashion, runway shows, advertising, commercials, editorials. And I accidentally fell into the industry I worked in. I chose to remain in it because I decided to learn more about it, because I had my insecurities and reservations about the fashion industry. Um, I asked myself the question of, is it superficial? Is it shallow? Does it promote materialism? Is it disposable? Is it dehumanizing? And when asked to do this TEDx youth at Hewitt, I began to realize that maybe they are those things, and maybe it's not making the world a better place. However, sorry, however, what we are experts in are imagining worlds, which is our theme today. In the fashion industry, we imagine worlds constantly, and we proliferate these images constantly. They're pervasive. And these images, for me, were a lot of imagined worlds that didn't include me. Actually, it doesn't really include most of us. And that's the point of fashion, is by showing you that the grass is greener on the other side. But the truth is, there's no grass on the other side. <laughs> so when I think about your generation and how you've always had the internet, meaning you've always engaged with the internet, with access to connecting with other people, to knowledge, to information, by curating your own personas through social media, you are imagining a world. Whether you put pictures up, you, whether you do a post, whether you enter a blog, or whether you even like something, you are connecting, building community. You naturally are writers, editors, branding specialists, marketers, and public relations. And a lot of you guys take great selfies. You're, you're your own supermodel. I mean, when I was growing up, no one really knew how to post your pictures. Now everyone does. Um, and I know some of you Photoshop your pictures, too. Sounds like a photo shoot in fashion to me. The difference is, is that what you guys are doing is doing it on your own terms, building your own worlds that you can keep up with, you can share with whoever you want with, you can block whoever you want, you want with. You're taking personal responsibility for your world that you're imagining. Increasingly, our world between URL and IRL are getting blurred. The way we buy tickets, the way we socialize, the way we are live streaming this TED Talk. Um, so in effect, I'm not here to empower you necessarily because I think you have all the power in your hands. You have all the power at your fingertips because what you do online will affect the world we live in. Collectively, you guys are probably the most powerful force in modern human civilization, civilization. And I want you to know that. But if you're going to change the world, it's going to be not easy. It's going to be rough, and you're going to have to have tough skin. And as a casting director in fashion, I know all about that. So I have three things I like to call the zen of casting, 
or the Zen of fashion casting, that you can apply in your own lives in your quest to change the world that we live in. Number one, seasons change. Seasons will change. Fall, winter is coming. And guess what? Spring, summer follows. And after that, fall, winter again. It's never ending. Basically, you have to know what season you're in to have relevance, to have your voice be meaningful and affect the world you live in. You have to be dressed whether appropriate to make a difference. <laughs> um, number two is you are at the threat of constantly being replaced. Not meaning that someone better at you is going to replace you necessarily, but whatever talents or advantages you have, you have to implement them, and you have to implement them now. You have to adapt with the seasons. You have to keep on morphing and keeping up with the change. You have to change with the change, so to speak. In my business, that means you won't make it or work next season, which leads to my third zen of casting which I think people have a big problem with, but I'll explain later. You will be forgotten. Eventually, many seasons will pass. Eventually, the changes you've made may not, we may be um, taken for granted or anonymous. But I want you to think of it like this. Because you are so well connected, and it takes not just an individual, but individuals working together to make a huge change in the world, Think of it as you're sharing the power, and you collectively are using the power to create a legacy. And that's a legacy, I hope, is one that you can wear all seasons, that's so stylish that you can never replace it if it comes classic, and one that's undeniably beautiful and unforgettable. I want you guys to walk away today from this talk, and I want you to Ask yourselves, what if we can make this imagined world together, one for all of us, and one that can be a reality? Thank you. <laughs>